Hey guys, today is Thursday, May 10th, 2018. How are bipolar opposites? My name is Timothy Andrew Antonio Coven, and I'm the host of this little program, which will only last for a few more minutes, but let's go. Anyway, no introduction to this, just to say that. Well, if you like today's episode, you can go back to yesterday's episode and beyond that, because it was uh, germophobia yesterday that I talked about. Today, we are exploring must see, must watch, must play, must read. Honestly, think about it. They say a movie is a must see. Okay, is it a must see? I mean, if I don't go see the theater to see a movie, does that mean I'm going to die? Like, really? Seriously? Like, how can it be must see, must watch? I mean, the only reason I can think of that you must see or must watch is being held captive, being brainwashed or something. Really? There's no need for something to be must, right? It's not the end of the world, and it's like, you gotta read this book or else the whole world will blow up, or all kinds of things that you can really think of. So, think of, you know, a must-play video game. You don't, uh, don't play, what, the machine's gonna blow up on you? I don't think so. I mean, it's a possibility, but, you know, it's really, if a book's a must-read, how can, if you don't want to read the book, what's gonna happen to you? Is it gonna be a consequence? Seriously, how is anything is must, must, must? Must means that it's something that has to be done. That's the best definition I can give it anyway. So it has to be done. Now, watch a movie. Does it have to be done? It's an option, not an obligation. Just because someone says you got, this is a good movie, that doesn't mean you got to see it too. I mean, seriously, guys. Like, Must, 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 that's just, it's not, when you're talking about entertainment, must is just, what? Like, no, the end of the world is not going to be done if you don't see this movie, or, you know, if you're going on a date and you must see the movie to save the relationship, well, what if you don't want to see the movie? You know, I mean, yes, I'm just, okay, let's just go here and say, yes, there are cases where couples break up because they don't want to see the movie, so I guess... That's a situation where you must watch a movie or must watch a TV show or whatever, but really? Or, you know, if you're in a book club, then, you know, that's, they say must read. Well, the whole club has to read the book so you can talk about it properly, so. Yeah, there are a few examples where it must, but seriously, a must see doesn't always mean you have to see it. It just means if you want to see it, you can see, I mean, like, also, someone says you must see this movie. What if you don't like the movie? Sure, they like the movie, you don't like the movie. So, you've gone to the theater, paid $15 for a ticket for something you didn't want to see, all because someone else said it was must. I mean, that, that's just really, really disappointing. I mean, you know, like a TV show. Say, okay, let's watch this. You don't watch it with me, we're over. I mean, I could just... Yes, there's plenty of reasons why you must, but really, is it? If you're doing it casually, is it something you must do? I don't think so. Tomorrow, we will be talking about everyone that's talking about. Okay? So I hope to see you then. Thanks for coming. Out.